Hey humans, welcome back to my channel, it's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this hoe. Hope you guys are having a fabulous start of the week, yeah. Monday, how the time flies on the weekend, girl, like, boom, and then we're back. Whew, nothing funny or comical to say about it, just observation. So anyway, I have a tag video that I was tagged in forever ago by Gwenny. Um, and I don't know if I got tagged by anybody else because that's how, um, I don't know, late to the game, I guess I am. But um, the tag is trends that I still love. Uh, and forgive me, I don't know who started the tag, but I know that I was tagged by Gwenny, and I did watch, um, this same video, Rochelle did it, and, uh, I was like, ah, oh, that looks like a fun tag, I've got to do it, and then Gwenny was like, you better do it, I tagged your ass, <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm way behind on my tag videos, uh, I am going to catch up, um, Tanya has tagged me in a couple, and I've not forgotten about those from Bits and Bags, but I just, girl, the time gets away from you, and now I'm a grandma, so I'm like busy with these babies. Anyhow, I have a story time for you. It's very small, um, but Yota, this story popped in my head because she told a story uh, last week about Someone who came in her house and thought she had an actual Starry Starry Night Van Gogh up in her house. <laughs> I was like, even I, who knows nothing about art, knows that's not happening. But anyway, love her heart. This prompted this story, and this happened, oh, I want to say this has been 20 years ago. I used to go every Saturday... Friday or, Friday or Saturday, if my work, uh, I wasn't working or whatever, or I could get off early enough, I would go with my best friend at the time. We would go garage sailing. Sailing, not sailing like on a sailboat, but we called it garage sail and then added an ing to it. So, anyway, <laughs> I know people do say sailing a lot. I know it's not the right word, but anyway, we would go to garage sales, okay? which we call garage sailing. Neither here nor there. I guess we would sail throughout different people's garages and front yards and patios. That was fun. Anyhow, um, I went to this really fancy, fancy house in this fancy neighborhood one time with her because let's face it, they have the best stuff. Uh, they get rid of a lot more stuff than anybody else. So it was always good pickings, you know. So we stopped at this um, huge, it was a newly built home, beautiful house, and a younger couple, What they were probably our age at the time, I was young then too, um, but you know, they didn't have any kids or anything, they just moved in and got married, because you know me, I'm over there like, girl, what are you doing, how's everything, who's your husband, what's his net? you know, I'm asking everybody everything, and uh, she walked around with me for a bit and showed me some of her stuff. <laughs> I swear to you, this happened. I walked up on um, a framed picture or a framed, I guess it was a print, like a poster. And immediately I said to the girl, oh my gosh, Pink Floyd, right? I love Pink Floyd. I saw him in Raleigh once. Oh man, that's an album cover, isn't it? And she got the funniest look on her face and she went, no, it's a... Uh, Salvador Dali, and I was like, uh, no, no, wait, uh, but you guys see how I made that mistake, because some of the Pink Floyd art does look a little influenced by Salvador Dali with the melting clocks and stuff, yeah, look at me, I'm, I'm red-faced just thinking about that interaction, she looked at me like, uh, okay, time to go, buy it, it's a dollar, or don't, leave me alone, you unclass person. <laughs> the first trend that I still love, and I think people are kind of shying away from, I don't think this trend will ever die to me, but I know I see a lot of these still out there when it's um, fall and winter and even spring, but your Ugg boots, girl, I... 
This is a sparkly pair I picked up several years ago, like to wear at Christmas time, and I still love them. Um, I really wanted a, a like a cherry red color, but those were sold out, and they had these in this like maroon. Still dig these Ugg boots. I probably have, I want to say 10 pair. I went on a real, you know how I do. If I like something like slides this year, I go on a, just a tear of it. Like, I got to have every single pair I find. So, um, luckily my girls loved them too. They don't wear them much anymore. But um, we shared because we could all wear the same size um, as of last year. So, anyhow, yeah, Ugg boots. That is a trend. That girl, I, I'm sorry. She's never going to die for me. I still love them. I still wear them. I have... Tons of them, every color, and uh, when winter breaks out, these are coming out, because you don't even have to, if you guys wear them with socks, I don't wear them with socks, and they don't stink, thankfully, I don't have that problem, but um, yeah, I think my girls, I had to kind of like, all right, either stop wearing my Uggs or start wearing some socks, stinky, but you know, some people, I don't, I just think they're so fluffy and, whew, there's going to be some fuzz, so warm, you don't need socks, girl. Okay, let's stick with the shoe stuff and furry stuff. Ooh, let's stick with furry stuff. That's something I want to hear on the weekends. Oh, she did it. It's these. Um, it's the furry on the back. Um, I guess Gucci's the one that made these so wild and crazy and popular. But um, I, I still love these. I think it's that I like my feet to be warm. I don't like cold feet, so um, these girls, I, I can't, I won't, I will never stop. I don't care if I'm the last person in the world that's wearing these things. Oh, she will. She will look crazy and wear them. I'm still going to do it. Yeah. Okay, so the next trend that I still love, and I get the feeling in the last year or so, people are kind of poo-pooing the idea but it's anything in the Gucci Marmont, whether it be the belts, um, the handbags, the camera bag, whatever. I, I think that people are kind of shying away from the Gucci Marmont, and it's not as trendy as it once was. But I, for one, would love to have a bag in every color, in every size, um, even a camera. I would love to have all of the Marmont. I can't wear a belt. I can wear one, but she gets lost easily. No one can see it. And that's, I'm not wasting my money on a belt, girl. <laughs> but I love the heart, too. And I think a lot of people are like, eh, the heart, it's not. Mm -mm. All of it. I love I love the whole stinking series. Everything about these Marmonts. I, like I said, I really do want to invest in um, an actually bigger bag than this because, you know, this one's tiny and I still love it. But I don't know. I think I could go for um, a little larger crossbody on this. I would wear it. So, yeah. Rock and roll will never die, girl, especially in this Marmont for me. Mm -mm. So the cat's out of the bag, the mini bags, the little tiny miniature mini um, tiny bag flexing. I'm, I'm always, she's always going to be into that. I don't care if it dies and I think people are cooling away from it as they were, but not me, girl. I'm, I'm still into, as you can see behind me, the tiny bag, whoops. Flex, or as Cassie says, TBE, tiny bag energy. I am all about that life. And again, that's something that I will, I will never, I'll wear these as a damn crossbody. I don't care <laughs> as big as I am. I do not care. I love, I just ordered, um, I actually ordered a tiny, tiny, I think it's called the beat bag from coach today. It was half price. And so I bought it. Of course, I'm not going to pay full price, but if it's something I did pay full price for these, a couple of these, I have four or five, but yeah, tiny and miniature bags and mini bags. I'm all about that. The ultimate mini bag for me would be, um, it's something that Rochelle did show and she unboxed on hers, is that watercolor. It looks like a bag charm. And it kind of looks like this. It's about this size, but it's the Louis Vuitton um, 
watercolor one. I absolutely love that. That's on my wish list, but I think that's too unicorn for me. I probably won't buy it, but man, if I run up on a good deal, hopefully someday I'll run up on a good deal, but I don't think there's ever going to be a good deal on stuff like that because that watercolor line, people are asking, you know, double, triple. So I'll just have to keep saving. Gosh, saving money, it's hard, but I've been doing it. It's just difficult, girl. Okay, let's move on. Of course, I think that people are shying away from the Burberry bags with the check, the Nova, they call it the Nova check or whatever. I don't care. I mean, I won't shy away from this print. I have loved it. That was one of my first actual luxury bags along with Louis Vuitton was Burberry and it's one of my most favorite prints and designers really or luxury luxury brands is Burberry. Um, I want so many more things in this. I would love to have a Burberry trench. As you guys know, I would love that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to shy away from it. I do think that people are kind of like, stop wearing the Burberry check, but I'm not going to. Mm -mm. No, I won't shy away from this. I love it. I still love it to this day. And she's going to be always um, ride or die with me, the Burberry. Yes! And um, one of the last things on my list of trends that I don't care if it dies, I'm still going to love. I don't have one of these bags, but I would love to. And I still, if I ever find one that I just can't live without, is this um, Celine Mini, um, the luggage. I think it looks like a robot face. And I love it. I still love it. I would want just a, they call it the Nano, a little tiny one. Um, I'd love to have one that's like two-toned and different color blocking, but I still love this thing. And I think people are kind of cooling and getting away from that bag too. Um, and it was super hot there for a while. What, four or five years ago? It was just like, <gasps> everybody's got to have one. You saw one everywhere, but... Um, yeah, not so much anymore, but I still would love to have one in my collection, and I would carry it proudly, girl. Yes. Um, an honorable mention, the Givenchy um, Antigona, I think people are kind of um, getting away from that. They're making new styles in it with the handles and the you know crossbodies and I even have the little tiny one, which I love. That's how much I love the shape of this bag and the zipper detail. I just, I won't ever sell that one or get rid of it. Of course, if I do, y'all play this back for me. <laughs> First week of July, uh, you know, 2021. She said she was never, and it's gone. But no, I don't think I will. I absolutely just love that, and I would have... Tons of colors, too, if I could afford it. I really would, because I still think it's classic, timeless, and it's just one thing that I love and will never um, part with in some way. I, I hope to always have a Givenchy and Tagona. And Tagona and... Uh, okay. We don't know how to say it, but I love to carry it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Now, um, also... I tag everyone in this. If this is something that you've already done, uh, I've probably watched it. I watched a ton of these. Uh, thank you to Gwenny for tagging me and to whoever came up with the tag. Thank you. It's a good one. I enjoyed doing it. Um, and also, I just want to say, yeah, I tag everyone. Uh, I'll probably put some names down in my description box. But I hate that the whole tagging thing. It feels like school, right? It feels like when you were in school and, uh, you know, so-and-so didn't pick you for a team and then you were like, oh, God, I didn't get chosen. I hate that feeling. And I don't want to put anybody in that feeling. So if you're watching this and this sounds like a tag that you would like to do and you haven't done it already, please do it. I think it's amazing and it was fun. And I just want to hear what you have to say about it down in the description, girl. What'd y'all think of? Down in, yes, girl. <laughs> oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh, not today, little Nas X. You know, because he has that whole Montero video where he's the devil. That's a good song. I think that's the song of the summer for me. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, have a great rest of the week. I'll see you back here this weekend. Hopefully, all of the stuff that I've ordered. I ordered a few little things. I've got a haul, but it's nothing major. Um, just some things that I bought the last month or so. Just here and there that I've gone shopping for that I bought online. Um, nothing major, but some fun stuff. So I'm going to do that next weekend, this weekend, coming up hopefully Friday or Saturday, if everything comes in. All right. Listen, if y'all see my husband, though, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. The whole tag thing, it's, um, it's fun. But after a few tags, it feels like, um, you know, it's sometimes I watch a tag and I'll get to the end and they won't tag me and I'll be like, oh, this is breaking my heart. But I get it. There's 5 million channels out there you could possibly tag in a, in a tag video and it's hard to get every one. And I don't know, though. It just feels like you're singling people out. I like to tag the big channels just to see if they'll do it and give me a hey. <laughs> So far, none of them have. But hey, I'm keeping hope alive. It kind of feels like Romper Room. Do you guys remember Romper Room? Okay, those of you of a certain age, you will remember there used to be a kid show called Romper Room. And it was this lady named Miss, I don't know if it was Miss Evelyn, but anyway, Miss Somebody. She would always get at the end and bring up a looking glass, like a mirror. And at first, she could see herself in the mirror, and then they would cut away and come back, and the mirror would be gone. And she'd just be looking through it into the camera, and she'd say, um, I see you, Tommy, and I see you, Jill, and I see you, Donna, and I see you, Michael. She would, you know, go through a whole list of kids' names, like, you know, and Michael would be like, oh, she's talking about me, Mom. Um, but not once did that beach ever say Winnie. <laughs> and listen... That is why I have a weight problem and a shopping problem today. Thanks a lot, Robber Room Miss So-and-So.